And 23 News reporter Eric O'Brien joins us live using our mobile eye technology from one of the highest risk places to be this week, the football field. Whitney couldn't take the heat, huh? Riding solo, Mike. Well, I'm out here at Auburn High School where football practice is just wrapping up. And this was a day with the excruciating heat temperatures. You heard Mark say real feel 94, humidity rough. So extra precautions had to be taken. I must have drawn the short stick putting an Arizona boy like me out in this weather. It has been just as miserable just about as it can get for state line drivers today. A little bit more information on this. Two suspects are now in custody, I'm being told, and I have to correct myself. I said Rockford police. They actually set up the perimeter. The show must go on, and now a month later, it finally is right here on center stage. Successful this movie will be. Over 150 students are going to be getting some hands-on training. Safety is what Trunk or Treat Night is all about, at least from the parents' perspective. Kids, on the other hand, do I look like a Jedi? I was hoping that would be the case. Well, I wanted to show you a whole bunch of people in line waiting for this movie, but as you can see, there's no one here. They've opened the doors two hours early. Imagine where I'm standing right now. Three feet of water up to my waist. A very special visitor is at the front door. And this is the Adopt a Family program. And look, it's Santa. I took the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge recently. I know pitchers are creatures of habit. Will you be having your teammates dump a bucket of ice on you before every start now? No, definitely not. I didn't love that. I'll take an ice bath. But... <laughs> Go again. You're still on. Yep. You're still on. You're still on. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh, man. We'll try for another here. Oh, that girl is killing me. <laughs> It looks like it hurts. <laughs> it hurts a lot, the stomach anyway. Oh, wow. So can you see the game from there? Can see some things. <laughs> I know that there's a baseball field in front of me. There goes the runner, throw the second base, is not in time. Drew Mirren has a stolen base. He looks really fast from here. Hope owns our park, runs around it all the time and can do whatever she wants. But if you want to check out Bark in the Park, we have the Humane Society, the Second Chance for Pets Network, Walk the concourse, there's tons of opportunities. Pets like these need a home. If you were one of the first thousand to the ballpark tonight, you, you received one of, one of these. And uh, I tell you what, it's beach season out in Chicago. Instead of the surprise lunch, Cody Drummer thought he was getting treated to. This 24 year old is being reunited with some of the reasons he's still alive. Uh, it's just crazy, I mean, I don't know, it's just. It's exciting, really. I just, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we saw him on probably one of his worst days of his life, and to see him back here all smiles, it's, it's kind of rewarding. This was the scene on Baxter Road more than four months ago. In early November, first responders from Cherry Valley, New Milford, and Stillman Valley rescued two drivers from a head-on collision between a garbage truck and a pickup truck. Hangman's breaking my neck tibia and fibula in my leg. They said I broke every bone in my face from like here down. Um, they said my spleen just exploded, so I had to get a splenectomy. I think that's it. Drummer will be entering fatherhood soon with a few missing parts. You don't remember me, that was the first one behind you. No recollection how it happened or the two weeks that followed. But for others, the memories are vivid. The garbage truck flip and I mean, it was it was horrific. There was screaming and blood everywhere. It was awful. It was absolutely awful. He walked out the door and I told him I loved him, but I didn't give him a hug. And for several weeks after that, I just beat myself up for it because things could have been way different. It's no food joint, but Drummer says this group has already done enough. I just figured we'd go out to a restaurant somewhere. I didn't. Even, they wouldn't even tell me that. So <laughs> it just doesn't feel real. That's a great story to be a part of. Drummer is rehabbing well ahead of schedule. Investigators still do not know what caused the accident. I'm so glad to see he's doing better. What happened to that other driver? It's a much different story and unfortunately a much sadder story. The other driver was Stan Marugula and right now his family is drowning in medical bills. He did not have health insurance at the time. So uh, his wife and kids, he's still sitting in the hospital bed and they are praying for a miracle. 
scammers are after this thing. They'll actually take pictures with their camera phone of your credit or debit card. So when you're in line and swiping, you want to get those numbers out of sight. You could call this driveway yours, and it's only chump change at a measly $1.1 million. This team is doing more than just striking out batters. Looks like on airport drive today, this is what it could look like. Getting some chest congestion, waking After up. After a few follow-up questions, so Katie makes a diagnosis. A viral upper respiratory infection. Marquees like this one are gonna read Star Wars all night. 24 showings, the last one starts at 2 a.m. 40,000 pounds of hot dogs a week. That's a mouthful. Three. Comes right out. <laughs> and then we and talk. So you're telling me there's a chance. Well, there is. However, at this point, we are about 10,000 times more likely to get struck by lightning this year and over 100 times more likely to be eaten by a shark. Athletic trainer for Auburn High School, Patrick O'Neill. Patrick, what were the warning signs that you were looking for out on the field today? Um, we're really looking for anyone being kind of disoriented, looking confused, sweat, um, and that can be a pretty big warning sign of a heat illness. Okay, so you see that on the field. What safety measures are you taking other than drinking fluids? Uh, one big one is uh, these ice towels, which basically just ice water with towels in them. See here, we got uh, my D Watkins, which do something like that. Um, but you know, a lot of the heat is contained through the head um, when you're wearing a helmet. So that's gonna cool them down real quick. Well, I can see you got some work to do with the yeah. players here. Thanks for joining me, Patrick. That's Patrick O'Neill, Auburn's head athletic trainer. Now, we are not the only ones that are affected by the heat. Tonight at 10, I'm gonna tell you about a group that is at an even higher risk. Reporting live at Auburn High School, Eric O'Brien. Ooh, that's cold. 23 News, back to you, Mike.